Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. I think we are ready to go. Um. Here we go. I got stuff up. Turn off studio mode. Okay. Let's play more Moonlighter. Let's see if I remember how to play. There we go. Today's gonna be kind of a shorter stream. I have a place to go. Let's store some stuff. I don't need fabric, apparently. Um. Popularity on those is high too. 450 is too much. Capitalism! Oh! Yep, it's capitalism time again. Oh, I need to open the shop. Hello, old man. I need to actually start maybe making some gear. I think once I get my gear where I want it to be, I might start actually making gear to sell. Let's have some fences. didn't see anything he wanted. Okay. I only have one little thing of jelly. Is that all I have left? Oh no, I have some there. Okay. I don't know what this old man wants. idea how much this is going to sell for. Let's try 450. Potion to restore his youth. Maybe. Sadly, I'm all out of those. Maybe he wants some glass lenses. I think those are popular, yeah. Maybe he got lost? Okay, so I kind of starting to figure out the breakpoint for the gold rings. Okay, these are still too high. Oops. Did I have another gold rune? I don't. Okay. Okay, their popularity is average, but let's try sneaking up the price a little bit. Ah, he wanted glasses. Oh nice, that book sold. No idea what the breaking point price for this is, so let's let's try upping it. Oh, did he? Okay, he found something he wanted. How much do I know about these? I 
popularity is low enough. Huh? Do I dare try to sell these? Sold for four fifty. I don't know, let's try six hundred. About just learning like that sweet spot, right? Oh, popularity is low right now. Which means I might have some trouble selling it. stuff to sell? That's cool. Let's try upping the price a bit. I want to say... Okay, so see the price for that went up to 170. It's kind of interesting trying to figure out these breaking points. Let's sell some of these. Ooh, let's try selling the water lamp. Okay. Now that sold for 300, that sold for 200. Let's try upping you a bit. Okay, it's night time, which means there's probably not gonna be very many more customers. Did she just walk in and walk out? I think she just like walked in and walked out. All the money! We sold 16. We had 16 customers. Oh, there could be thieves? Is that what that other symbol is? Wow, we made 10,000 gold. Popularity high. Okay, so those popularity went up on some. So I think I want to sell them when they're high, but not sell them when they're low? I still don't quite understand the popularity. Oh, I've never tried to sell these before. Six. Sold it a hundred and they thought it was a steal. Let's try 200. I think this is a really big. Let's see, that sells for 128,000 thievery? I think so. Maybe if my shop gets big enough, I'll have thieves start to show up. Okay, let's. Drop off some stuff. Reorganize a bit. I know I need the chisels for a wish list item. What is it that needs the chisels? Oh, the short sword upgrade. So I need to find two more chisels. To get a rusty short sword. <gasps> oh, I can get... Uh, what do I do? Do I get the bow or do I get the boots? I 
think I'm gonna get the bow. Then I don't have to hang out. Then I don't have to use my broom anymore. Hmm. Maybe we can get both? No, I don't have enough foundry rests right now. So I can't actually do both. Okay, it's probably going to be way different. Um, let's see, are there any upgrades I can get? He costs... Oh, I could get him. Shop upgrades, though. Uh, I don't know if I nearly need... Well... What needs... Wait, do I need more space to sell? Or should I get the upgrade where I get tips? Let's get the tips. Now we have a fancy cash register. Let's get a bigger, get a bigger shop. I mean, we made 10k lap yesterday. I'm pretty sure we can afford a little bigger shop. So Hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to make objects to make your shop look more interesting. Ew. Allows the merchants to decorate as to please their customers as well as additional space for their items. Going on, something on fire. Okay. Uh, I only have 2,000 left. So. Oh, hi. That's what you call a good job. Doesn't seem like a big change. Oh, well, beauty comes from within. Okay. Comes with it and sounds like no loot. Yay! See, now I have more slots. Oh! Look at that. There's a little. It's... Oh, there are more chip. Uh oh. Where's my stuff? Okay. Sing. It's 400 give eh reaction. Let's actually lower the price a bit. This is an entirely new item. Life fluid. always rough just trying to figure out kind of a initial reaction. Keep away from these fly traps. Start at 250. That's probably too much. Okay, let's go moonlight. So there's a regular attack and like a charged attack.
Use life to dead plants. Nothing is worth too much for that. I don't know, maybe. Oh, I thought... I thought I was on top of the portal, but I was not. Oops. So he won't walk off the edges, but he will roll off the edges. Okay. Oh, it doesn't seem too bad. Definitely want to get it enchanted, though. Oh, I already found the next level. Okay. Don't quite want to do that. Not yet. People talking inside my room. The glasses, Grandpa. rock today. guy actually. Oh. Hi. What am I stuck? Go for a quick swim. Hi, Vaser, how are you? Moonlighter. It is a roguelike adventure slash economy simulator. Are you reveling in the challenge and deep combat mechanics? I don't know the mechanics. The combat mechanics seem pretty simple so far. <laughs> Copy pasted the hyperbole on their page. Yeah, the combat's actually relatively simple, it feels to me. Oh well. It reminds me a lot of The Legend of Zelda. Granted, I haven't gotten too far into the game yet. But honestly, games don't have to be deep to be fun. Just be simple selling. Like, I made 10,000 gold. Last. Okay, level 2. That's the fastest I think I've gotten to level 2. Oh crap, there's a wizard.
get why this guy doesn't attack me once all his friends are dead. Real time action. Yes. It's not turn based. Yeah, the weapon swapping sword, maybe if I had. Like I said, I am still. This is just the first dungeon in the game. Enchanted. Ocean. Okay. Oh, item destroyer. Curse destroyer. This is where I think the game really gets deep. It's when you have these... Basically, it's some kind of... It's like a puzzle. Maybe Fable 2 where you could one button press change and range melee. But no idea, really. Yeah, it's just one button. I just did Z. And it swaps. Hmm. Okay, I already have a stack of those. Okay, the rocks block those. Oh, I found level 3. I don't know if I want to go down to level 3. The level 2 isn't losing to be a huge challenge so far. Find a little more. Oh no. Hi Tons, how are you? Were they hyped weapon switching as innovative? Possibly. Wait, how do I hurt this thing? Oh, I could have killed it. Gee. I'm doing alright. I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to burn. Let's burn the vines. And we can burn the sticks. Destroys a curse. We have plenty of these at home. I really like hidden things, but they might not be super great, actually. This is where things become really complicated, just trying to figure out what junk and what to keep. Definitely want that, definitely want that. Water sphere. Probably something better, but I'm just gonna be constantly picking stuff up. Oh. Oh! Level 3 gets interesting, I bet. Do I ever get a bigger pack, though? I really would love a bigger pack. They are like moss. Not so far. Oh gosh. Oh, I want that. Oh, I can't open the inventory right now because I'm under attack. What the? Is that a homing attack? <laughs>
Okay, those are things I just walked over. That looks valuable. Only up to level 3 gun, only if you use your charge attack with a bow of fire. Okay, so that... That's the point of the charge attack. Oh, let's equip this. Wait, no. How do I equip again? Let's see. There we go. What is that? Light essence? Plant flesh. Plant flesh is pretty low. Freaking Deku Leaf homing attack. I wondered what the charge attack did, because it looks like it just, like, went. Oh, that's weird. On another screen, it wasn't even going straight. Oh, dear. yellow things are. They look valuable. Crap, what do I sell? I might sell the plant flesh. What is this? Crystal rock. Crystal rock is not worth a whole lot. It's worth less than golem cores. So let's sell them. Oh, dang it. Can I drop? drop stuff. Back, close. Is there a drop option? Drop. Guess I have to put it in the mirror. Is there no drop option? Hello? I pulled back those quick equip. What if I close? Oh, okay, there we go. That dropped it. Okay. Onward. gave me eight gold. Probably not really worth the time. Whoa, did I just... A nightmare. It's a nightmare of my own making. Do I grab the mystery items? Sells for 170, that sells for 360. Sells for 120k, so let's drop the cores. Item management the game, yeah. Well, it is a game about being a shopkeeper, so I can imagine there's some kind of item management. Oh, really? That only sells for that much? Why am I holding on to it? Grab rando item. Do I want those? Nah. Just 
I don't even care about melting them. Oh gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I didn't even realize it was time for him yet. Okay, he's just eating up my arrows. I just rolled off the edge. I want out! I want out! Oh, he one-shots you. Okay. Where does this start me? Level one. <sighs> yeah, I can have it. Difficult but rewarding gameplay. More like, we're gonna put an instant death monster that doesn't really have a clear timer in the game. The problem with that guy is that I can't attack the regular- I couldn't attack the regular monsters to escape the room. Really? Level 2 already? You know what? Let's just go straight to level 2. Let's not- Goof around on level one too much. Oh no, it's one of those. Did a homing arrow? I wish there was like a little time indicator. Because if I have to spend I don't know how much time doing item management crap, because the game won't give me a semi-decent pack. And then it penalizes me for its own design flaw, in my opinion. It's starting to remind me of Seven Days to Die. The always imp always full backpack. It also kind of sucked that he only sh he showed up when I was in the locked room. I didn't have any warning too. I... I'm going to send a game go and create a town, a time down for a monster starring on me to appear. Definitely games are exploring is kind of the point, yeah. Well, some games I can kind of understand why they would do it. Oh, a book! This game though, it feels kind of... cheap. 
rather than difficult. I mean, if he didn't one-shot me, if he, like, took me out of the dungeon or something, it would make more sense. But I, like, I lost I don't know how many minutes of effort just because I got locked in a room with it. And also, yeah, why do some of these doors lock and other ones don't? Oh, I could have always portaled out. I always forget I can just exit whenever I want. I need to remember that if I run into that situation, I just need to run rather than try to deal with it. Honestly, I think that's the primary mechanic they want to emphasize is you can warp out whenever you want. Item breaks if you receive too many hits. Item in this direction shown becomes this item upon returning to town. Destroys a curse. Oh, good golly. What do I have that I can or what do I have that I can remove the curse on? Rune tool. So I could do something like I could turn sticks into this item. Oh, actually, I think I'd rather turn this into that. Okay. Cleanse. Do I have anything that's worth cleansing? Oh, I could cleanse the runes. So let's cleanse those. Like, does this count? It's when I'm in here, does this count against my time? I would really like to know. Immediately sends the item in the direction to the shop. Okay. What do I want to warp? Home. Prefer to warp home like a full stack or something. Put that there, put that there. Pull you in. Pick this up. Put it in here. Swap those. Okay. Now I have to keep watching for that green goo guy to see when he shows up. Wait, have I already... What was I in here? Why are there items on the ground? I don't think I'd ever been in here. Very confused. Um, um, did anyone else see the two stone just, like, nope out and, like, fly across the screen? <laughs> That 
item went nope. <laughs> um, I would like to grab that crystal, but I don't want to just waste time trying to get it. Do I want to try for level three? I mean, the level two monsters haven't given me too much grief. Oh no, I hate these things. Somebody said that they'd moved the clip option or something? Like to the upper right? I don't really care about pots. My pot? Yeah, my left pot. Um... Let's drop that. Oh, mystery items. They could be something really good, or they could be something really bad. Uh, I don't see it. Also saw the green eye. Oh, is he showing up? Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Oh, crap. I just locked myself in here. Oh, he's here. He's here. Out, 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 out. <laughs> I don't have the money for it though. Oh, it takes a plug and five medals. Okay. So are you? I do have a stack of metal, or is that for some? I think that's for something else though. requires okay so it is the hunter thing okay you can be sold you can be sold you can be sold what let's throw in that things. Okay, no. I think I'm good on my redstones. I think I only need one of these, right? Rune tool. Don't know how much they sell for though. Mm. Oh wait, my shop isn't open. I just sleep for the night. Apparently I wasn't in the dungeon long enough for it to... Okay, let's sell those. Sell that. Do I want to sell those? Oh, let's throw the designs in. Oh, see, he wants armor and weapons, but I don't carry those yet. Mostly because I don't really get enough foundry leavings. That guy's a thief. Keep an eye on him.
Crap, I can't remember how much I had that for. Is that another thief? Why was she opening up her coat? Very confused. Very confused. One can just beat up thieves. Yeah. I'm not gonna let them just take our stuff. this. Okay. why she's flashing me. What is with the people who are flashing me? Why are they flashing me, LDR? I don't like it. There's another thief. The mating call of people in the town? Oh my gosh, another thief? on this item. Let's try... I don't know, a thousand? Way too high. There's so many thieves in this town. Oh, there's another one! Okay, I don't have any reads on that yet. item? Not really. I know you want to. Evil merchant? I 
gonna get evil merchant. I mean, someone has to make a profit around here, right? Can't improve the town without money. Yeah, they made it really easy to tell who the thief was in this game. Oh, popularity on this is low, it's probably my fault. But it feels like I got a lot more customers today. There's another flasher. What? Okay. We made 8k this time. I want it. There we go. Upgraded yeah, bow. My first weapon upgrade, I think. I wonder how much it's going to cost to enchant it. Greetings and welcome. How are you, Will? Oh! Feels the Golem Dungeon map on use. Verifies will guide you to the next floor of the Forest Dungeon. Interesting. What can I chant it again? Don't have enough gold for that. Ah, I'm too poor. Also, reading a tip guide. I was imagining things when I saw sparkles and pits. Oh! Got any new culture artifacts? It's fascinating. I need to find dungeons with tiny different situations, unique cultures. Really? Do I want to get the retailer guy? Uh, it's gonna be a big chunk of money. But... Cannot request this character during the night. Oh. Well. There's actually sparkles in the pits. Okay, let's see, how much time do I have? I don't know if I have enough time to finish the dungeon, though. Might have to leave the dungeon a little earlier than I'd like. Oh my gosh, he's hit! Wow, that does twice as much damage. See any sparkles here? Come on. 
seeing the symbols above the custard. Oh, you're trying to look up what the flashing means? This dungeon seems like it might have been a peaceful place at one time. Now it's a graveyard full of stone soldiers waiting for scavengers. Interesting. What did I pick up from him? Broken club. Foundry leavings. I'm gonna make sure I move them into the to a spot where they won't get lost. Just in case. bodies, I would have to say these golems have been fighting here for centuries. Yeah, we know. Oh, okay. I'm full up on potions. Oh no, it's a fist. on foundry rests. Oh, I can't put them there. Because those foundry rests are valuable. He uses those to craft stuff. guy is a time thing or if it's a number of rooms thing.
time based. First tips. Yeah. I'm hoping like the next dungeon will have a little bit more lore. A sound or something plays when Goopy or whatever starts showing up. I mean, I know there's a sound when he's on the screen. And I know he'll chase me between screens because he did that the first time he showed up. Whoa, what was that that went after me? Is that like a spider bot? Well, yeah. Oh dear. Oh, Dagnabbit. Oh my gosh. That sucked. Oh, those are valuable. I found a... I have not found a hot spring on this floor. Ha! Magician? Yep. So I have a cl cleanse. Wait, why does this one have a favorite on it? The game cheating. Yep, that has- that's probably a bug. Huh? I have another cleanse. end already knows, but the front end won't hide it. Actually, 
think I do want to bring some slimes home. Definitely want to bring the gold runes back. <laughs> I don't know how long I'll last down here, but oh, a new item. One more item dropped by that strange jelly creature. This one is a little more straightforward than the mirror. Similar to our pendants, if given enough gold, we can portal to safety. But, and this is a big but, ha, huh? the portal remains open after use. Meaning one may travel back to the very spot they departed from. Simply amazing, very convenient. For the time being, let us call it the catalyst. Quick tip, Catalyst requires quite a bit more gold than our pendants. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I want to pay that cost. Okay, I can explore too. Bye, Vazer! Have a good one! Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly. Destroyers. <sighs> but I can't really see how that would benefit me. That's the least valuable. I could turn something into a bunch of books. Okay, what do I have? Sword? Wait, hold on. This is worth less than the sword, yeah. Put that there.
I don't know. That was complicated. Ow. We shall have all the muns and inflate the mark with rare items, yes. My pack is basically full. Is there anything that I would want to drop in here? I don't think so, so maybe I should just work back home. Nothing I want to drop, so I don't know if there's really a big point in continuing on down here. Do I want to create a super portal, though? Open seven chests, slew 85 monsters. We have a crap ton of stuff. Oh gosh, and I need to go. I'm gonna be late for my thing. Okay. Everybody, thanks for hanging out. I'm having fun with this game, making all the money. Uh, I'm gonna have to head out. Uh, exit desktop. Yes. Oh, at least I hope it's saved. Anyway, oh, Evil Merchant, sell 20 items slightly overpriced. <laughs> Alright, okay. Well, I've got to head out. Everyone, thanks for watching. I'll probably be playing this again tomorrow night. Talk to you all later. Bye!